What's up guys, Musics here, and this is my second shot at going at this commentary, but uh, I'd like to uh, welcome you to the first episode of Nowadays with Noah. And uh, if you're wondering who the fuck Noah is, uh, he's some loser who uh, goes by the name of Musics on YouTube. Uh, 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 if you didn't get that, he's me. Um, I know I sound like shit right now, I have a uh, sinus infection and I sound really nasally and stupid, and uh, I don't really care, I wanted to get this commentary done. Uh, because I have a really interesting topic for you guys today, and um, I'm going to be talking about map packs and uh, and where the hell they went wrong, and or no, map packs and how they can be really good and or horrible, awful, you know, and what makes a good map pack good, okay? And this is going to be both about COD and Battlefield, okay? So I'm going to start off with COD. Now, Call of Duty, you have to for the NW3 at least, you have to sign up for Call of Duty Elite. Uh, premium, which is you either pay for $60 for a year of Elite Premium, or you pay, I think it's like $10 a month or $7 a month, something like that. Uh, if you guys know, you can correct me, um, you know, leave a comment. Uh, but you, you have to pay for Premium, and you get all the map packs that are released for Modern Warfare 3 for free. Now, is this really that much of a trade-off? Because in the past, we've only seen three to four map packs for each Call of Duty released in its lifetime. So, if you do the math, I mean... You know, was it better to spend $60 for a total of like 12 maps or 16 maps? Or is it better just to spend, you know, $15 for like uh, each map? And I don't know if I fucked my numbers up. I don't know if I said 15 twice, but whatever. Um, <laughs> um, and then, you know, it, you get... And a lot of times, the map packs are repeats of previous Call of Duty maps. Now, we didn't have that in... Um, Luck, well, luckily, we didn't have that in Black Ops. We saw new maps every time. We did not, from what I remember, we did not see any repeats. Um, I think we saw repeats in zombie maps. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% um, on that one. But that's good, you know. But there was really nothing from like there was the Black Ops was the first of its kind. It was like the Call of Duty Four of itself, if you know what I mean. I'm not saying it's better or worse than in all the other cons. I'm saying it's just that was that type, you know, that was like the first Modern Warfare, if you want to say that, like, I guarantee you the next Call of Duty we get is either going to be called Call of Duty 9, or Call of Duty Black Ops 2, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy it, to be totally honest, but anyways, um, so, you know, with all the map packs that came out for Black Ops, you always had new maps, and, you know, whereas we look at MW3, which has had two counterparts in the past, um, you know, MW2 and MW, or COD4, um, and, and that just gives a whole opportunity for them to bring back new, or old maps, which I personally despise. I do not like when companies bring back old maps. I think it's cool and fun, but I, I would only really appreciate it in Battlefield, and the only reason it is is because, A, Battlefield maps are much bigger, much easier to maneuver because of how their size, and it's just, it's much more realistic warfare, um, I think every all the problems that have boiled up in COD and, and all the things that people complain about is honestly, I think, boils down to, to map size, you know? Whereas Battlefield, like, the only annoyance you find in Battlefield is in Team Deathmatch, which is the most similar game mode to COD, you know, because the, they shrink the map size down when you're playing. The playing field is much, much smaller. So you get much more annoyed, you know, spawn locations aren't great at all in Team Deathmatch and Battlefield. But then you go and play Conquest, and you have huge spawn, or huge, uh, what's it called, you know, locales, and, uh, and maps and all that. So it's like, if you, and see, that was a bad spawn right there, but I also spawned at B. Now, I have a choice to spawn wherever I want to on Battlefield, obviously, as you guys know. Whereas COD, you don't. So, so there's no excuse for why the spawn system is shitty in COD. Whereas Battlefield, it's like, I chose to spawn there, there was a guy there, whatever. You know, so what? Same thing if you spawn on a teammate, there'll be a guy there. That's your own fault, you know? Um, but back to the topic at hand, I only like Battlefield maps that are brought... I only like maps... Like, ah, nah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm fucking my wording up horribly. The only maps that I like that are old and brought back are from Battlefield, okay? And the reason is, A, especially with Battlefield 3, you have the updated Frostbite 2 engine. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Uh, and put in almost any map ever made for any first-person first shooter. Uh, it would look amazing. So, I mean, you have that aspect, especially with Back to Carcan, which uh, is coming out on next Tuesday, December 13th, for P Xbox 360 and PC. Uh, it already came out for PS3, but whatever. That's another story. 
Um, but, you know, you have that, and you look at some of the maps from Battlefield 2, like Strike at Karkan and uh, Golf of Oman and all that, and they're just like, oh, wow, like the changes that they went through. Whereas COD, like, I heard that they might be bringing back Terminal, and, like, what can you do? Like, COD doesn't have an updated engine, okay? COD doesn't have, like, new animations. COD only has, the, it's a, it, it, COD is the same game with a different paint on it. It's all it is, every single time. It's a different, you know, HUD barely. I mean, and, and if you're going to think this commentary is the shit on COD, you may be right, because I... I bought Call of Duty, you know, and I was going to use a gameplay from it to do this commentary, but, you know, I thought to myself, and I was just like, I, I'm not going to, like, subdue my viewers to that. Like, I, I'm not a Battlefield elitist. Well, some say I'm a Battlefield elitist, but I, I'm not a Battlefield elitist because COD, I do love COD 4. Um, you know, and, and MW3 is fun and all, but in all honesty, it's really no different from any other COD we've played. And, you know, I'm sure some people really like that. And some people don't like change too, too much. But personally, if you're going to charge, if I'm going to pay 60 bucks for a new game, I want it to be just that, new. I don't want this exact same copy of the previous game with, like, new maps. And I feel like that's all they've done. Um, I feel like, you know, no matter how much I ragged on Black Ops and, you know, got annoyed by it, uh, Black Ops was new for its time. There, there really were not a lot of guns that were in MW2 that were in Black Ops, and I do apologize about my voice. I know it sounds extremely nasally. I, I sound like shit, I know. Me and my friend were just fucking around here, by the way. But, um, you know, I, I think that it's just the same. COD is like, like, Call of Duty Black Ops, I'm sorry, I got off track, is like, was the new game of its Call of Duty, you know, predecessors, you know. It, it was new, it was, it was fresh, you know. There were new guns, there was new ideas, like with the, cam you know, new camos, the, the currency system. Whereas, and then you look at MW3, and it's like, alright, you unlock this gun at this level, and then, and then what's up with 80 levels? I, I'm sorry, I wanted to play a first person shooter, not, you know, waste 40 years of my life getting to level 80. Like, damn it, it I mean, it doesn't take that long, but it's just irritating, like, it's, it's unnecessarily long. I think 80 is really pushing the boundaries for a level cap, you know. I, I personally think that a level cap, a good level cap is between 50 and... and like 65 in between there you know battlefield's level cap is 45 uh, that's when you stop unlocking things but you still level up uh, as a commander like you you could be like level 46 but it'll have like the same emblem um as 45 just with a little one under it like next to your rank um so it, that's cool you know it kills the game's replayability a little bit but there's also going to be three times as much dlc for battlefield 3 as there was for bad company 2 so that's insane i mean Especially, like, and, and Battlefield 3, like, Back to Garcan has not only just re-imaged, like, old maps and then brought them back whenever you can play them, have fun. They are bringing back 10 new weapons that you unlock through chal or assignments, which is completely new. You know, that has not been in Battlefield at all, the assignments at least. You know, you have to get this many kills with this and then do the this, you know, X amount of times to unlock this gun. I think that's awesome. You know, I know for one of the guns you have to get 10 repairs and then get one kill with the repair tool. And it's a, it's an Engineer MP5, I believe. Um, I believe in that game it's called the HK-45 or something, Heckler and Coke uh, 45 caliber or something like that. I, I don't know too much about uh, actual gun names and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I just, I just think that's so cool. And like the fact that they're just adding 10 new weapons that can be used in, uh, in multiplayer, any map, like in the base game of Call of or wow, oh my god, that was horrible. It was called Battlefield Call of Duty. Sorry about that. Um, you know, they can be used in the base game of Battlefield 3, which is just sweet as hell. Um, all four maps are being put into the map rotation, which, if you had Vietnam in Back to Carcan, is very new. Um, for those of you who know, you had to select Vietnam from the main menu. And uh, you would enter it through there. It was like a separate multiplayer almost. Whereas ba Back to Carcan is mixed in with everything. And it's like, you know, three new vehicles, four new maps, um, one new game mode, which is insane. Um, that's, that's like, oh my goodness, that's epic. It's, uh, it's Conquest Assault. And one team uh, starts off, I guess you could call it the defending team, starts off with all the flags in Conquest. Whereas the attacking team has no flags, but the defending team has no main spawn point. Which means if they lose all the flags, their tickets start, like, lowering drastically. 
which is a um, which is pretty epic. And I know that game mode was in back uh, back blah, sorry, which was in Battlefield 2, which is really awesome. I, I mean, just the the fact that they're bringing back a new game mode, and I'm very curious to see if this game mode is integrated in the new map or the regular maps as well. Um, I watched a IGN uh, first impressions of Back to Arcade, and I have heard nothing but good things for, about this DLC. I mean, I've heard that it's just the maps are awesome, the vehicles are awesome, the guns are just amazing. Um, the game mode is fun as fuck, and I don't think I noticed that guy right behind me. Maybe I did? Uh, I don't know if that's a bad... Uh, wow. <laughs> Okay, that's a teammate. I was gonna say, I was like, I swear to God, if I just left him, I would feel like a retard. But, um, you know, I, I think the fact that uh, COD just really just kind of either makes a new map with a bad central point and, you know, no main locale of uh, enemies to, to meet together and clash and you have those epic gunfights. You don't have those, you know. I mean, the, the maps are just very odd and they try and make good flank points and they end up just being irritating for, you know, corner campers or... You just get outgunned way too easily, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna pan out with future map packs with uh, Call of Duty. Um, whether this elite system or whatever the Call of Duty Elite is gonna be successful, um, I, I think it's unnecessary to be honest. I think the classic just pay for your map packs, you know, and, and be done with it kind of thing is really, really what we should expect from it. And uh, I don't think that's what we're getting, obviously, and uh, maybe in time they'll release the map packs for everyone for MW3, like, after a little while of it being allowed for, like, elites on early as access or something like that, but uh, until then, I'm going to go on the assumption that the maps are not going to be released to the public uh, unless they join the um, premium elite, uh, which, again, is, is very odd. It's very, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to pan out. Battlefield keeps everyone pretty much equal. Um, I mean, those who purchased limited edition of Battlefield, or just pre-ordered it in general, got get to get the Back to Carcan for free, which is pretty awesome. You know, that's that's something that's kind of expected these days in games. You know, you always want something for free for uh, pre-ordering it. And I was thinking the other day, I was like, you didn't get anything for free for Black Ops at all. Like, I didn't at least. I mean, I was told the guy would get a poster, but I never really got anything. And it kind of was just like, wow, what the fuck? Um, you know, and... Uh, Guys, that's been the, the first episode of uh, Nowadays with Noah. I do apologize for my voice. I know you're probably wanting to punch your computer screen because I would be. Um, I sound awful. But um, thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions for topics, please let me know in the comics. Or comics? What the fuck? Comments. <laughs> I have a bunch of uh, topics lined up. So peace out, guys. Love you all.